G'day guys, James Cullen from Stones Corner Marine and I'm excited to show you this 730HT today uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, this 730HT is arguably one of the best fitted out uh, 730s we're fitted here at Stones Corner Marine and that starts from the engine through to the, the finish of the boat through to the internal electronics fit out. This boat is bloody awesome. Standing here now with the uh, F300 uh, XSB, that's right, XSB, the S stands for steering and that is built in that's electric steering not hydraulic not electric hydraulic that is electric steering and that is part of the Yamaha Hellmaster package before I go through the dash and go through some of this other Hellmaster cool uh, features and the electronics out I just want to take you on a, uh, on a journey sorry to see how cool this 730 looks from the outside come with me If this is not one of the coolest wraps I've seen with extremely high detail, come in here and have a look at the detail here. Look at these little small bait fish all in here amongst the coral. Look at the reef, the fish. Go through to the bubbles, the bait fish. Come up further. We've got manta rays in the distance. More manta, manta, trout, reds. Beautiful. Look, 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 at the, look at the detail and the scales of these fish. You know, this is one of the coolest wraps that I have seen. It, it wasn't organised by us, so I'm not going to take credit. It was organised by the customer, but amazing. This fish just comes out at you. It, it, this is awesome and finished off with a great little turtle. And look, again, zoom in here. Look at the detail in this turtle here. High quality. I don't know who did the wrap. I can find out of our customer. And uh, if anyone's interested, I'll be sure happy to uh, advise who it came from. But how cool, stand back, how cool does this 730 HT actually look? I think it's quite special and it's just as special on the inside. So let's go on a journey now, the inside of the boat. Actually, while we're walking past, let's just note this is on the Easy Toe Alloy Trailer. So it's the I-Beam Alloy Trailer. Look, look, look at the size of this I-Beam. Huge I-Beam strength. Big wheels, big alley guards, plenty of keel support and, and guides uh, up the centre of the trailer. And that, that trailer there is made in Australia by Easy Tow and designed to suit the Bar Crusher 730HT. Sorry for that distraction, but we'll get in, get in, get on board and check out the internal fit out. Quite honestly, just as spectacular as that wrap and the new uh, XSB Yamaha with electric steering is the dash configuration. Let's come up closer here. Th this boat here is equipped with three Garmin screens, the Yamaha screen, and that's all interfaced and networked together with full control of the Yamaha Hellmaster system interfaced also to get the maximum benefit of a single rig Hellmaster on this 730HT. We've got a 10 inch, a 12 inch, a 10 inch, the Garmin. That's all in the 84 series. And those screens will be spread between sonar, radar, uh, GPS, and also relief shading applications in most uh, scenarios. Um, I should have said, yeah, the radar fit on top, you may have seen that. Um, but as I said, this is a, a full package on this boat. Okay. Garmin, Garmin, Garmin interfaced. We've got the Yamaha Hellmaster Autopilot. This is the control panel here for the Hellmaster Autopilot. We've got the Garmin grid control. So these are all touch screens. What the grid does is give you the ability for uh, joystick control, knob control, and button control. So when you're in rough seas, you, your finger's not sliding all over the touch screen, selecting things you didn't mean to. So the grid control, if you, if you have a touch screen Garmin, find it a little bit hard every now and then in rough seas, certainly look at the Garmin grids because they certainly make a difference, especially in rough water. Joystick, this is part of the Yamaha full maneuverability pack. So when you get the full Hellmaster system, which includes the autopilot and the electric steering, you also get joystick control. That control there has a number of features in regards to a holding position of the boat, but also maneuverability of the boat. It could be as simple as you are holding position here while jigging bait fish, and all of a sudden those bait fish move, you know, three, six, 10 meters uh, to starboard. 
you have the ability to bump that joystick and that will move at a three meter increment each time you make that bump. So the, as the fish move over out, out, out um, side of the range of the jig, you can bump it over twice and the boat will slowly maneuver itself in a forward and back motion to get over that three or six meters, depending on how many bumps. I've also had some great feedback on the Hellmaster joystick in and around um, marinas and maneuverability, in and around anchorages and maneuverability. So certainly that joystick, I'm not gonna go into this video into all the uh, features and benefits, but there's, they're certainly worth investigating. I, I know people will say, oh, it's not a cheap option. Well, no, it's not. But some of the benefits it can bring some users is certainly worth the money. Okay, autopilot, full autopilot uh, functionality. That's a Yamaha uh, autopilot, very easy to use. Um, we have one of these on our, on our Demonstrator 730. We've sold a num number of them on our bar crusher boats and, and certainly all feedback I get from customers uh, and my staff is that they're very easy to use. The bar crusher is also fitted with the usual switch panels. That includes everything, everything from a SeaTech charge port um, through to all your wiper controls, nav lights, uh, anchor light, spotlight controls. We've got the stress-free anchor winch uh, control here. Uh, and over to the right, we have the 12 volt power supplies uh, and the trim tab control. Okay, above our head here, we have the two radios. We have the VHF and the 27 meg radios. We also have the Fusion Stereo, and that stereo is also networked through these garments. So we can control this unit from this network. So it's all interfaced. And it's something that we like to do in the modern day, and we certainly like to see um, the interfacing of units to make ease at the helm to control all devices where possible. 730 runs the lockup cab. I'm not gonna drag this video and make it too long. It's got the lockup cab, which is certainly nice in and around um, stays at different places if you're using the boat as a bit of a motel room and you're, you're down at Sanctuary Cove or you're up at one of the islands, Hamilton Island or one of the other nice islands, a lock-up cabin is certainly uh, a really good feature just to lock gears, gear away or you may be um, uh, on shore. Um, under the um, seat box here you, you'll see the two different seat boxes. This one here is the largest seat box with seat. Uh, it is also fitted in there with a slide out ang angle uh, refrigerator. Um, that's certainly a nice touch for those um, small food items, uh, keeping them uh, cold when, when you're on the boat. Um, whereas on the other side, on the other side, we have the uh, Isotec Esky. It's a split lid Esky, and, and that Esky there is generally designed for catch, whereby you can split the, cat, uh, split the lid, throw your catch in, uh, make it uh, easy, but also utilizes the underseat area so the esky is not all out the back. Now the 730 runs a very large um, uh, uh, cockpit. Uh, it's a good depth, you know, work well into the halfway mark of my thighs. Uh, it's a self-draining deck. Uh, what else we got here? We got clip-on rod holders. So these clip-on rod holders simply can be removed from the boat or repositioned along the sides of the boat depending on where you want. Um, I certainly find them really good for the short rods and traveling to the boat ramp where the, the short rods are under the cabin height, uh, but they're vertical, no damage to the reels or tips. I find them good during the day, um, moving spots with all, all different rod lengths, but also for re-rigging. Um, be able to put a rod down in a vertical position, be able to re-tie. Uh, certainly find the clip-on rod holders uh, are valued. Talking about rod holders, bar crushers, they've always been one of the boats known for some of the most uh, flash rod holders, it's still the case. They've still got the flashes looking cast alloy uh, flush mount rod holders. There's four up each side, so there's eight, eight of them in total. We've got four rod holders in the uh, deluxe bait board. That takes it to 12. With the addition of the uh, eight in the clip-on, which are uh, options, uh, that gets us up to 20. Uh, and, and then we've got the eight on top. So. Uh, with the way this customer's option is, boat, he's got the, the ability for 28 different rod positions. I'm not even sure I own 28 rods, but uh, that's not a bad, uh, bad, bad thing in being able to manoeuvre and reposition rods subject to where you want them for the day. Bar crushers, nice sturdy uh, hard top, plenty of handle grip for for people when they're when they're travelling, um, just to take a bit out of the the, the knees when for travelling. We've got the. Um, 45 degree beveled edge on the side deck. That just takes the sharpness out of the um, contact with the 
leg muscle. Uh, certainly uh, after a long day's fishing, you'll certainly notice the difference between a boat with a tapered edge versus a, a boat with a 90 degree edge. Uh, it's a small thing, Bar Crusher made that change some years ago now. Uh, I think it was one of their better changes o over these years. Um, U-Butte Deluxe Helm seats, these are, these are a bolster seat. Um, nice big wrap around area, so big, big wrap around. Very good, you feel very um, comfortable sitting in these seats. They've got a large bump piece um, where the bolster is, is folded down or when the bolster's in the up position and, you, and you're wanting to, to brace, you, you get a good soft support uh, right where you want it to uh, ensure you stay stable on your feet uh, and are as comfortable as possible in the foot conditions. Um, bar crushers, um, hard tops, they're very popular. Um, one thing we get a lot of feedback on is how, how clear their vision is through the glass windscreens. Big clear windscreens, uh, minimal impact by pillars, um, we've got slide out open windows here. Windscreen wipers are an option. This boat's been fitted with one on the driver's side. Look, there's so much I could go on to about this boat, but the main things I wanted to show you today was how cool is that wrap? So be creative yourself if you're thinking about buying a boat. There are some good, good imagery uh, out there and available. But also when it comes to laying out your boat, a lot of space in these bar crusher dashes. There, there's plenty of room, you know, so that's a 12 inch flush mount. That's a 10 inch flush mount. We've got the CL5 Yamaha gauge, the autopilot, the grid control, the joystick. That's all in the main electronic space, but also plenty of room up here for another 10 inch. Um, look, I think this customer's done a fantastic job of optioning this boat. Uh, I think the boys in my team have done an excellent job of fitting it out to get the best end result. I think it, it presents very well. Uh, and, and I can't wait to hear the feedback from this owner when he's been out there catch the fish. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Cheers.